Hey, Travis, uh, just your thoughts on the mood around the group today and the tempo of practice. Well, I think it was good to get out and practice. Uh, I think it's been uh, a week, maybe uh, maybe a one seven or eight days since we've practiced. Uh, so it was good. Our team needs to skate. We need to practice. We need to execute, uh, work on some of the parts of our game. So it was good to get out there. I saw Jay Beagle left practice early. Do you have an update on him? No. Okay, we'll go now to Ian McIntyre. Morning, Travis. Hey. Um, some of your players, your younger players, are probably going through something that they haven't experienced before at the NHL level. What, what is your message to them at a, a time like this? Well, I'm not going to directly say what I say to players, um, but I, I've had lots of conversation with our young guys. I agree with you. This is something that, um, you know, they haven't gone through, and, and not just from a team standpoint, but from an individual standpoint and um, when you go through adversity and, and you get get through it uh, you're going to be better off for it uh, there's not many players in the history of the game that don't have some type of adversity that they go through um, even if they're they're great players <clears throat> and I know that uh, we spoke after sometime in the fall after uh, free agency about sort of culture and 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 how leadership evolves each year with different players mm -hmm. is that part of what's going on right now as well that with the turnover the culture is kind of a little in maybe not the culture but the leadership's a little in transition and guys are still trying to come together on that or no i don't know i mean you can sometimes that can be overblown in ways if, we, if you might not be asking me that question at all you might be saying it uh, saying it in a totally different way. If it's if we uh, if it's two two and we come back and win that hockey game with nine, ten minutes left, uh, obviously we did lose some some players last year. Um, the leadership group, the older guys in the room, are, are doing what they always do, trying to uh, be good examples, help people out in the room, uh, make themselves accountable as far as how they're playing. Um, so that. I think it changes a little bit from year to year. Thank you. Next up yep. is Ben Kuzma. Hey, Travis. Hey, Ben. Zach McEwen didn't play a lot last night, but when he did play Travis, you noticed him. Um, he was up in the play. He had that great spin around a move on the backhand to set up a goal. Um, what does that do for maybe some guys who are either trying to get into your lineup or not in your lineup when you see a guy like McEwen who gets a chance and he's noticeable? Um, what kind of a message should that send to other guys, maybe like an Adam Gaudet who didn't play? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if that's, you know, it does it send a message? I think our guys know what Mac's all about. I don't think it's sending uh, – any extra message. They know that Max a, a big guy that works, that's hard to play against, plays a bit of an in-your-face style of game, has good hands. Uh, you know, I think our whole team looks at themselves as guys that are that are that want to be competitive guys, and each guy brings that in his own way uh, as far as how he competes and, and what type of player he is. Just a quick follow-up then. Uh, that was a scratch. Uh, Last night, he wasn't in your line rushes today and on the, with the regulars. What, what's keeping Gaudet out of the lineup? I just decided to go with a different look. I'm not going to get into things that I talk about with, with individual players. Well, that's between Adam and I. Thank you. Okay. Okay, if uh, no other hands are raised, we'll wrap with – oh, sorry, no. We'll go uh, back to uh, Ian McIntyre. Sorry, Travis, to – bother you with a third question. I feel it's like it's my lucky day. Um, one of the things I think uh, has been a hallmark of your team since you came here is that you've, you've always been difficult to play against and at times maybe not as tight defensively, but nobody ever said that, uh, boy, you, you weren't getting everything out of your players. So how do you become more difficult to play against? How do you get back to that where you're you're just, uh, you know, you're getting everything out of the players. That I think our game flows when we're when we play like that. It flows um, from our breakouts to our 
decisions in the neutral zone to our four check. Uh, you know, I'd like to think we play an in your face uh, style by how we track the puck, how we force teams, um, our back pressure. And I've said this many times in this room that it's all connected. Um, if your breakouts aren't strong, then your four checking game isn't strong. If your decisions in the neutral zone uh, aren't right, then you're spending a lot more time in D zone coverage because you're not spending the other team time in the other team's zone uh, and you're defending tired. So I just think our, our overall game hasn't been sharp enough. And, and, you know, I think if you went through and everyone was honest with their game, are they playing their best right now? No, we probably haven't. Uh, have we had some individuals that haven't played their best hockey? Sure. That's okay, though. Um, and I, and I stand by what I said last night. I thought for 50 minutes we played a, uh, like I said last night, we didn't sit there and have a dominating performance. We played a team that's got big defensemen. They're a tight checking team. Uh, they get a quick strike goal with the Suzuki goal. They kind of get a bit of a, a seeing eye shot by Perry. And, and a lot of times the team will just get off the rails and get and, and disrupt more, start forcing plays. But I liked how we just stuck with it uh, and got it back to two to two. And, 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 you know, if we get that game into overtime or win that game, all of a sudden there's a different vibe. Uh, we make a couple costly mistakes and, and you lose. But, you know, you've got to build from, you got to build on something. And I thought that we had a better game for 50 minutes. And by better, I don't mean like dominating a team, but, you know, that's a good hockey team. You got to give them credit. They defended well. And our offensive guys aren't always going to dominate offensively, especially maybe if they're not quite on top of their game. So, uh, you know, back to your original question, maybe that helps you a little bit in answering it. 